I'm very excited about this one because if you're anything like me, I love wine and doggies, my favorite animal. So why not take the time to make someone this really cute dog wine bottle holder? And I'll show you how easy you can make it from scratch and you can find a set of plans in the link below. Now there's lots of components that require symmetry. So I'm using my old folder sheet of paper in half, draw and cut a design out, and I'm cutting out what will be the dog legs. I'm able to tinker with this cheap material first before cutting the actual wood. I draw around it on some 12 mil plywood, and then I take it to the bandsaw to cut it out. And of course, if you don't have one of these, you could use a jigsaw instead. Something tells me I'm gonna love this project. Let's draw around those to make another pair of legs. Now for the long piece to tie them all together, this is the belly and a tail that I drew, but of course you can make a shorter tail instead if you wanted. Now I'm cutting notches out here so I can tie them together. The notch is the same thickness as the wood itself, but I'm gonna give you a warning here, sand all of your pieces first before even measuring and cutting these notches. So I've got it on top as a visual, now I need to mark out where I'm gonna cut the notch out of the longer piece and it needs to be slotted down enough as well so nothing protrudes. Now I'm sanding and all of the bandsaw blade marks as well. Off camera I also drew my dog face design using exactly the same folding paper technique and now I'm cutting a notch in the front section for the head and another one at the bottom of the face near the dog's chin. The next thing I need to do was work out where the wine bottle would poke through for the dog's nose. The easiest way to work out where the hole would be for the wine bottle was to lay the wine bottle flat on the floor, grab an off cut and mark the height of it and then take that mark and transfer to the back of the dog's face. And I drilled a hole a little bit bigger for an allowance. For the eyes though, I didn't have a force in a bit, so I'm using a flat wood drill bit. And I rounded off the holes with a bit of a grinder attachment in my combi drill. And after gluing it all together except the head, this is how it turned out. But of course, if your dog's got a short tail, you could glue all the pieces together. What do you think? And don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on tomorrow's video.